Hi everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what that was, but welcome back. Today we are doing a one take, one cut with Kate May. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm having a little wee little bout of the seasonal depressions. So apologies for the wet hair and the one take one cut, but you know what? We're here. And I really do be like that sometimes, so what are you gonna do? Am I right? Okay, cool, I forgot that this is gonna be one take one cut, so we're gonna try and keep it fairly short and sweet, kinda get through some stuff, and today's topic is um, kind of how I've started to get into acting in Vancouver and how I did that as a beginner and hopefully if um, anyone out there is kind of considering it or um, obviously I'm not the main source of research that you should follow because I'm uh, a fresh noob as uh, people in the past would say um, yes do not this is just how I've started very recently in the past few months to kind of get into this. This is what I've done. I have not found su superb success at this moment in time. However, I do have faith that, um, you know, eventually I will. Um, so just in case you're kind of curious, kind of wondering um, if anyone watching this has questions, comments, concerns, um, or advice for me or um, other people watching that they want to leave in the comments below, please do that. Thank you, appreciate. And if you have watched my other video, it was Thanksgiving. My other one was um, something else. So check those bad boys out, please, thank you. And let's get into it. So one take, one cut, we're not even gonna cut here. This is it's my little chop chop thing, great. Um, so how I started doing this is I did what you were doing maybe right now and I went ahead and I did some research and I actually found a YouTube video um, I think it was from like 2016 or something so it was like kind of dated but found a YouTube video and found some like articles and started doing some research um, I work in the service industry so I do have a lot of friends that are in acting but me being the kind of person I am was like oh boy this is so embarrassing I don't want to talk to actual people who do this about me being like a fresh noob so I kind of like did my own research first and like kind of saw what was crack a -lackin. And so yeah, step number one, do some research, like search up some videos, um, articles uh, uh, of web series, Google is great, um, and search for like how to kind of get into it, how to get started in Vancouver. Um, next step, this actually came from the video that I watched and the research that I did was, um, or tons of agencies out here and so then i found an agent michael on the fat chance that you're watching this thank you so much for uh believing in me it's so kind but anyways whatever <laughs> sappy this one take one cook can't get it together god okay agencies and friends they're really good a lot of you know your acting friends will have agents so maybe they're a good way to get into it if they're like some people you know if you're really close to them and they believe that you have like this potential they might even like talk to their agent and be like hey by the way i have this sick person who would be good so um however i did not do that i just went my own route and so what i did was i searched what is filming what's hot what's popping in vancouver right now and then I went through IMDb, I got my IMDb Pro free trial going, and I went through and I clicked on all the like guest stars in TV shows and films that are filming right now, um, mainly like TV shows that had, had previous seasons and are filming next seasons, and then I pressed the guest stars, and if they were from Vancouver, I saw who their agent was, because that means that their agent is like pretty actively um, still booking people right now for uh the stuff that's going on so i did that and then i found i think i found a list of like 14 agencies 15 agencies and i filmed a little self-tape mon the log situation and it was not at all anything it was not even a self-tape it was a video of me on my couch framed very poorly with 
um, bad sound and probably not the best lighting. And I sent that into people with like a makeshift <laughs> headshot that's not an actual, hey bug, not an actual headshot, just like literally, um, I think I just caught that bug in my hand. That was so cool. Anyways, no, okay, no, that was just us. Um, so then I had this headshot uh, that I kind of used from like a different like shoot I had, um, but it wasn't, it, it's not how a headshot's supposed to be. Anyways, and I sent a bunch of those in. I sent a resume. Um, if you're sending in stuff like this for the first time, do some research on what it's supposed to look like first. Probably, that's probably a really good idea. Um, but yeah, so then I sent in a resume that was like a normal work resume. It was not at all an acting resume. If you're curious about an acting resume, Google acting resume. There's like, it's different. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's different. Um, so yeah, then I emailed a bunch of them. 99% uh, of them said no. They were like, or didn't say anything. They were just, or some of them were like COVID, so we're actually not um, taking people today. And then one of them said yes so sick then i got an agent and like make sure that the deal like works for you like this one's really good no one should ever um you shouldn't have to pay your agent your agent should take fees of whatever you book and that should all be in the contract and you can read it and you can ask people for help and you can say hey is this is this good is it does this look right and people will be like yes or no and then from there you can move on so um that brings us to step three, self-tape city. Um, self-tape city. So this is now with COVID and with um, COVID. Everything has switched over to self-tapes. That means that whatever you're recording, it's going to be like, hello, this is me. I'm Kate Mayhew. And here is the part that I'm reading. And someone else is reading for me the other lines behind the camera. But right now, it's just on my face face um that's the best description i can give if you don't have any background on self-tapes um so now self-tape city there's so much stuff on vancouver actors guide that's kind of what i started with i just sent them all a bunch of emails with my um the bad stuff that i also sent to my agent that was like not proper anything um and then they send you sides and then you message a friend and you say hey come over and read this with me for my self tape. And then you send that in and then you do it and, and you just keep doing that. And then eventually people will be like, yes, we liked that. <laughs> Please call us on zoom. And then you have a zoom call back and hopefully that goes well. And then you book that has not yet um, been the case for me. However, it's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> Then then that's self tape city. And then if you're successful in getting an agent, they'll be sending you stuff too from like the other casting sites. So that's great. And that's just self tape city for you. It's just go, 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 self tape, self tape, self tape city. All that stuff. And then next I have put classes on here. Please do take some classes. I've taken two so far. I'm taking a third um, nearing the end of October coming up in a few days, I think. Um, self Tape City, or sorry, acting classes. Great, classes, fantastic. Please do uh, take them. They're fairly expensive, but the payout and the reward is like off the fucking charts. So would recommend. They are definitely, it's an investment. Um, but yeah, definitely, at least if you're starting off, take one for sure and just be like, oh boy, this is, I didn't know any of this stuff. Please help me figure it out. Um, and it's also great. I've met a lot of wonderful people through the classes that I've taken so far. And it's just like, it's really good for like building community. And then you also have this like whole network of people who you can contact for like self tapes or like self tape readers and stuff to help out with all of that or even for like input and whatever um one thing i have not yet mentioned on here is join also join the facebook groups um if you search up um like vancouver actors on facebook there's like a ton of facebook groups and people post all sorts of stuff in there so please also join that um yeah classes take them number five Oh yeah, we're making good time. Number five is headshots. Please, uh, eventually at some point, headshots are so freaking expensive. I feel like I've invested 
money is in them. Anyways, it's done. Um, headshots are important. Um, I just got my first set, Ashley Ross Studios, shout out. Uh, so good, so fun, and like very helpful. Um, and then I just got them edited, and now they're up on casting workbook. But just like the fact that, like, I had now a acting resume that my agent had prepared for me, and now that I have headshots, I think like it's your first step to like getting the door. So I, in one of my classes, uh, had some people, had the people's, the instructors and everyone, they they did something where you like stood at the front. And then people would be like, okay, this is what you look like, this is what you'd be cast as, blah, 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 blah. And then you have like a whole list of like different types. And then you go into your headshots with like, okay, cool, I wanna do this look, and I wanna do this look, and I wanna do this look, and I wanna do this look. And then you have a wide variety of things. That way, you know, sometimes like I look like this, and I could look potentially other ways if I'm wearing different clothes or different makeup. Um, and so it's good to know kind of what people could see you as, because that's exactly what casting directors are going to see. Because um, I'm going into that kind of knowing that I want this look, this look, this look, this look, because this is the this is how I'm going to be typecast, basically, uh, is good for yourself. And then also, if you do something a little bit like bolder, like I did like really like badass kind of vibe look, and like that can help your agent as well, kind of see you in different parts that otherwise you might not have. They might have just been like, well, you're, you look like this, and so that's what we're putting you up for, but if you look like these, then we'll put you up for- Okay, and sorry, I know I said one take, one cut, but my camera stopped. And so anyways, that was basically the gist with headshots. Just, just at some point when you can afford it, get them done. It'll help so much. It'll be great. You'll feel so, you'll feel like you have your shit together. Um, and then step six, that brings us to our last final step, it's blammo. Kabam, kaboom, you've done your research, you've got an agent, you've done your self-tapes, you're getting good at them, you've, you've gotten used to the weirdness of Zoom callbacks, you've taken some classes, you've learned things, and now you have headshots, so people will look at you, get you in the door, send them your sides for your self-tapes, and then all of a sudden you're getting your Zoom callbacks, bam, blammo, you're booked. And then you're on set and you're making that dough or you're having a good time and it's just it's fantastic and so blammo is the ultimate that's that's where you're going that's where you're getting so that is it folks short and sweet hopefully one take one cut <sighs> I have nothing else to say about that please leave comments um, with questions or um, advice or um, just like anything um, I'll leave my like whatever handles down below and I hope you have a wonderful incredible fabulous amazing um, spontaneous gratitude filled incredible day so bye please do all the things that you're supposed to do and I'll leave you with that so